This is a three-way circuit. It's not a normal one. A normal one is kind of goes like this. Coming from the panel, this is simulating a panel when you draw it. Look over here. Since you can't draw white on a white board, that's all the representations of what I'm going to be using. And this is considered grounding, or as we call it, or white, or, new, or neutral. When we're doing this, we make sure we always label it, because we don't want any confu confusions present. Now we draw our switches. This is a three-way switch, a three-way switch, and a light. Now we draw how we're wiring it up. First, you always want to run your neutrals, which would be your white. Now with switches, there is no white thing because it's all power. You want your power coming in through your switch over to, to your light. The whites will always splice, as you can see here, splices. You splice to the box, to the box, and then you connect to the light. Now your black will always come down to here. And then you have two tra travelers which power, which gets power to this switch, which the black from this switch will come up there. You make sure you always connect it to the same poles of the switch as you can see here. The red connects to the right, same thing here, black is to the left, as you can see here. This is a normal three-way switch, but what I had to do is power comes into the light in two different three-ways here. So first off, like I said, you draw your uh, utilities. It's the light. Switch. Switch. Now if you know simple stuff about electrical, you may be thinking power comes into the light, you go down, back up, and over. You're not supposed to do that. Like I said, power comes into the light, splits off. That's the tricky part. Now because your white always goes to your your white always goes to your light or whatever your load is. So your white goes directly to here. Now 14.3, which is what I was using, you have a white, a red, and a black. Always. Now whites do not connect to these at all, but you still need your white as a traveler. So for, first off, you can't have your black go straight to the light. Because you'll just come right here and that, that's the circuit. These will be useless and you can't switch it off or on. So your black comes in, splices, comes out to the bottom of this switch. Now your travelers are going to be white and red. Again, I know it's blue because you can't write white on a white board. Your traveler comes off back to the main box. Same thing with your white. Now it, with the code, the IRC code, the NEC, same thing with that, you cannot use a white as a live wire such as a black or a red. So what you do is you take the white and you put a black circle around it to relabel it as a black white because if you don't do that that will confuse people and then nice way to burn down a house you don't want that to happen so now you splice this comes up over here splice here again as you notice red is now on the left same thing up here white is on the right same thing up here this is what powers up the light now as you see here the black comes in powers the switch. Let's say the switch is connecting to the red side, right? It will get then, as, as you can see, it completes, well it doesn't complete the circuit yet, but the power comes up here. Now this red wire is live. Let's say the switch is toggled over all on the blue. As you can see, power comes through, red wire is live, but this here is dead because you're connected to the blue one. Now if we were to connect over here to the red, all power go, goes through back to the light back to the light, therefore that is your circuit.